Yo, what's up everybody, Fortnite here, and today we are back again with our Dark Souls 3 Easy Mode Beginner's Guide. In the previous episode, we went through the Farron Swamps, and we got the Cell Sword Twin Blade, which is going to be our main weapon that we're going to use through all of this playthrough. We got a bunch of upgrade materials, and we are ready to crush, so let's get into it. Okay, one last thing that I think we should buy. We're going to go to this, and then give her those... Gracious. Ashes that we got earlier. We're also gonna purchase a dagger. Ashen one. And I'll show you why in a second here. Um, let's pick off a few easy bosses before we go to the the tree boss. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go. We're gonna go to the road of sacrifices. Okay, and then we're gonna turn around. Again, we're gonna run past this enemy. Yeah, we're not even gonna mess with that. We're gonna take this up. All right, send it back down. Now we're gonna take this up and we're gonna roll off midway. Hmm. As soon as you hear the hmm, just roll off. And we're gonna go here, here, Sigmire. Hmm. Ah, oh, don't, but thanks to Okay, and we're gonna take on that big dragon dude. So it's a big enemy, like just hug its butt, take its legs, don't get too greedy, just be ready to roll at the last second here. Um, do we have one more pine resin? We do. We could use that. Yeah, let's... Mm, no, nah, I don't think we need it. And then Siegmeier also helps us out as well. Yeah, let's jump down. He will see us and he'll run up here. No. Huh? Oh, I thought I'd roll through that. No, not my friend. I don't like him so close to the edge there. Look, we just shred. Oh yeah. Hey, you talking to Siegmeier? Is he a Siegmaru? It's kind of like a Estes drink. You see the toast gesture. That was neat. <laughs> okay, let's run down here. There's really not much else that we need from down here. You can run up here, run and jump. I could do that better. Run and jump. I feel if you hit these bodies. At the northern armor set, not that great. Okay, we're gonna do a lot of running. That item, those dudes will drop down on you if you go to grab that item. We're gonna run up here, run over here, turn right. Some dogs are gonna show up in here. Come here, come on. You're gonna be like that. dogs okay let's fill up those 
on my inventory. I feel like that's a mimic. Oh, it's not. But that happens. <laughs> I never opened up that chest and I was like, oh, maybe there's something good inside here for the easy mode walkthrough. Yeah, these guys kind of suck. Because they kind of do that. They throw dung pies, bastards. Okay, let's run past them. Pick up the thing. Oh, it's human pine resin. That's actually, that is pretty good. Okay, we are gonna run past these ladies. And we are gonna run up here. We're gonna pick up Flynn's ring. We're gonna drop down. Drop down again. I'm gonna go here. We're gonna run and jump. And then drop down. Break these boxes. Now we got the Chloranthy ring. And mirror set. I'm gonna put on the Chloranthy ring and the Flynn's ring. I don't think we're at the right uh, equip ratio. We could probably help that a little bit by taking off our mask. We have 6,000 souls, so I don't want to mess those up. So let's go back to Shrine Bonfire. All right, do we have any soul items? We do not, okay. Let's talk to the well, maiden. Very well, then hey. I do want a bit more health. I think we're super close to another level. I think we can get rid of. We can get rid of those two gems that we're never gonna use. Ah. Only worth 150 bucks though. Anything else that we can sell? Oh, the shield. I think we need two G's to go up another level, so I guess that's gonna be good enough. Okay, so now that we killed that guy, I think the next best bet is to, we're gonna keep going through Baron Keep. So this is the bonfire that we lit when we went down the ladder after those two NPCs. And I'm gonna show you the most efficient route through here. So we're gonna equip our Homeward Bones. We're also gonna equip our dagger. So run outside, run directly straight towards this item. Oh yeah, you're gonna get poisoned here too. So that's always fun. Let's grab this, that's the shard. Here's a Titanite shard. We're gonna run up here. Let's debate this guy down. Okay, nice. And then let's kill this guy. Wow, I really thought. Okay, and then interact with this. Plays a neat little cutscene. I have to do that three times. I feel like there is a purple moss clump behind here. No, just a rotten pine resin. Okay. So, immediately when. We, okay, I'm gonna kill this guy. Okay, see ya. Okay, we're gonna run down here. Run, 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 run. And we're gonna go straight through here. These guys suck, so we're just gonna run past them. Grab the Titanite Shardy. Quit your game out. 
Okay, now that dude's reset back to his regular spot. We're gonna go over here, bait this guy out. Very nice. There's a purple moss clump. There we go. Okay. Interact with this. Now we're going to run out here. Straight past all these dudes. You can just run past them all. Light the bonfire. I don't think they'll come at you. Okay, now that you sat there, we're gonna go over here. Drop down to the left. Another Titanite shard. We're gonna run over here. Go into this room. Try not to get completely decimated like I just did. We want this item right here, another undead bone shard. And then over here to our right, we're gonna go to where this ladder is. And just run up here. Exciting stuff. <laughs> okay. Hey, okay, once we're up here, we're gonna go right. Run up here and then roll through there. That lizard just drops crystal titanite, so we don't need that. We're gonna have these dream catchers ashes. ashes. We're gonna drop down. We're gonna get this bonfire. Sit down, replenish your items, and then we're gonna take this elevator up. character looks so weird. <laughs> okay. Okay, up here is another, it's an optional boss, but we want the souls, so I would save scum right here. Okay, so now that we save scum, a few things about this mini boss. Uh, hug its legs, but don't stay, it's just like um, the Asylum Demon, so it'll do like a butt slam if you stay behind it too long. It's also got really wide swings, so look out for that. And if you keep your distance from it, it'll actually use, I think it's called, I can't remember what it's called, it's like Rock Sling. It'll chuck big rocks at you and they will fuck you up. You want to hug its butt and we want to break its legs. So we're going to keep our attacks focused on one leg and that'll break its legs and that'll make it really easy to uh, kill. We're going to take off our homeward bones and let's equip our gold pine resin. And we'll put it on when we get closer to it. So let's just do this. Go about here, put on your gold pine resin. Let's run towards them. Keep your stamina. As far as it hit me. That's the butt slam. He can also do a grab too, so look out for that. That's legs broken. There we go. Soul of a stray demon. And like eight G's worth of souls. A bunch of crap here that we don't need. A lot of nice embers though. Okay. Now we're gonna keep going. See, we just decimate with the Cell Sword Twin Blades. And we're just gonna keep getting stronger too. All right, just run all the way down here. Take that Pine Resin off. Let's put those Homeward Bones back on. 
I'm gonna go over here, drop down. There are gonna be two crystal lizards that we wanna kill coming up here. We're gonna get this one right up front. Okay, and they drop large titanite. Let's get this guy. Very nice. Okay, I think this is a miracle that we're not gonna use. Yeah, lightning spear, and I think this is a shield. Okay, we don't need anything else up here, so let's use a homeward bone and go back. And now we have enough money. We can actually, this lady just appeared here and because we've got those ashes, we can give those ashes. Uh, ashen this one? Oh, it would. Ashen one. And then you can talk to this lady here. I'd, I'd bless. I'd bless. Keep talking to her and um, I don't know, we can summon her in later on if we need to. All right, let's talk to the blacksmith. We're going to reinforce weapon. We need one more Titanite shard. I can't believe that, but I think now that lady sells them. She sure does. So we just needed one. Ashen one. And then we're going to reinforce weapon. And then we also have large Titanites now. There we go. Doing pretty good. Got a plus four cell sword twin blades. If we go down over here, this is uh, where that NPC is that we got in the second area. And he gives us free level ups. But I think. Yeah, draw up strength. Uh, let's put it into bigger. What does he sell? He sells sorceries? Okay, cool. He will give you a new level up every boss that you kill, and I think it's a maximum of five, then he dies. But when he does give you five level ups, you can go hollow. All right, let's use that money and level up. I'm gonna put this all into decks. And we do have that boss soul. Oh, we have another Estus shard. And we have another undead bone shard. My god. We're just rocking. Okay, let's use this little straight demon. Wow, he uses 20,000. That's ridiculous. Okay, and. Let's put a couple into equip load just for the Flynn's ring. And then two more into decks. Farewell, Ashen One. Make. Oh, we still have three G's left. I want to buy a couple more Homeward Bones. Uh. Buy three. Ashen One. Okay, I feel good about that. All right. Okay, I like it. Let's warp back. Oh, no, we want to... Upper Estus. Okay, let's reinforce Estus Flask. Let's sit down and burn that ash. Now we have a plus two S's flask. All right, and we're in a really good place. Let's keep going. We're gonna travel to, we're gonna go to the cliff underside. And let's equip our charcoal pine bundle. The bundles last way less than the resins do, but they do more inflicted damage with their attribute. So because this is a charcoal one, it does flame damage. We're gonna run into this tree boss over here.
run, 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 run. And I would save scum right here. Okay, so now that we've done that, here's the game plan. That's the boss right there. It's that big, it's like a big egg sack. That's the boss right there. Um, when you run out there, there's a bunch of mobs out there. There's all these little pulsating white sacks on the boss, and those are the items that you're supposed to hit to do damage to the boss. We're gonna run up to the boss, we're gonna put on a charcoal pine bundle, get a few of the spots, Midway through the boss fight, it's gonna cause the floor to crumble and then we're gonna drop to a lower level. We won't take any damage. And then there's bigger uh, bundles that are on its back and its front that we're gonna attack. So let's just run in there and do it. Okay, we're gonna run, 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 run. Get our stamina back. Run to about here, put on the bundle. One on his foot. Not doing too good. <laughs> hey. I thought I'd get some good hits off on. That one that's on his back, but I guess not. I was gonna say, this might be where he makes the floor crumble beneath him. I have honestly, there we go. This is other there this is the one and a big arm's gonna come out of his stomach this is waste Okay, let's heal up. He'll grab you, so look out for that. How does he st still have health? <laughs> <laughs> Terrible boss fight. Okay, pick up Homeward Bone. Shield that you're never going to use. Alright, let's go back to Firelink Shrine. Actually, before we do, we're going to do one more thing. Let's go back to right here, Fair and Keep. Do that dagger equip? Yeah, we do. Okay, we're gonna two hand this dagger. We're gonna immediately leave, and then where we went left, we're gonna turn right. And we're gonna go right in this direction here. We kind of see like a smoldering pile right there. Run straight. And then once the muck gets thick, start pressing L2. And that's why we bought the daggers for this weapon art right here. Okay, let's switch back. I think there's enemies up here. No, there isn't. Okay, nice. Now we can turn this on. Great. Now we can just use a homeward bone. Let's go back to shrine. And we got the transposing kiln from the tree boss. So if we go up here and not this chair, but this second chair here. You're gonna see there's a little dude that's been sitting here this whole time. Oh. He's one of the lords. So we can give him the transposing kiln, and that's how you transfer boss souls into boss weapons. So like these were the weapons that we could have gotten with those boss souls. 
Uh, we could have gotten Havel's Ring, which I don't know. I don't really care for. Um, and then Pontiff's Left Eye recovers HP with successive attacks. That's meh. Um, but yeah. Treat the she is my for other playthroughs, you can use that. Okay, we're gonna use that boss soul that we got. Okay, let's talk to the lady. And let's go. And go two levels. Let's go two more decks. And we can get those nine papers out. We're never gonna use the dagger again, so we can put on our wand. Let's sell some of that crap that we've gotten. Uh. We don't need this or this. Or either of these shields. One. I think we can go up one more level now. Well, very then oh, we need five grand. Okay. Well, but because we killed that boss, I think that NPC will let us level up again for free. Dumb, dumb is wrong. This can pool only give you more level ups the higher your holdout stat is. So if you want more level ups, it means you gotta die. So you gotta go kill yourself over and over. In the game, not like real life or anything. Don't do that, Jerry. Mm. Okay, I think that's a good place to end it. So we did a lot of this episode. So we went through more of the Undead Settlement and we got a few more upgrade materials and we also took care of our third boss, which was the Tree Spirit boss and, or the Undead Tree Spirit, I forget the, the actual name. And we also took on the Stray Demon. Um, yeah, we're just gonna completely continue steamrolling this game. So I hope you're enjoying. Ooh.